Hi all, welcome back to YouTube channel. Let's start reboot work using Wavepath. In today's session, we are going to discuss about RAs. Before that, I hope uh, each and everyone has checked our uh, Sunday RPA challenge. So, hope everyone loved it and uh, you can uh, practice in sequential way. And I have uploaded all those stuffs in uh, GitHub also. And then I just given our uh, GitHub link as well. So, let me show you real quickly where is uh, your hype. GitHub link so yeah so here you can click on this uh, GitHub link and you can get your files you can keep it aside and you can uh, work simultaneously so that you can get all those things in a perfect way and will be on a same pace so let's jump back to today's session so like array so which I said array so array is basically is used to store the values a uh, multiple values actually so and in it's in a fixed size so as we discussed on yearly or a list session that uh, list can be values in this value can be added in the run time but in array count so since it has a fixed size we are not able to increase the size dynamically uh, during the run time so where list we can do that uh, that's what I uh, highlighted as a note. So we can test in two ways, like uh, how we can pass the input. So which is a clean shave. So no need to do any like uh, string manipulation or somewhere in the uh, test variable one. In test variable two, you have to do some manipulation, and then we are going to convert this uh, like array to uh, list, and then like a string to uh, array, and from that list. So likewise, we are going to do in a different different combination, so that uh, if you got into any exercise in your organization, you can quickly check over here. And you can do that. So let me go to the UA Path Studio. Let me create two variables. So which is test variable one and test variable two. Test variable two. And then we can take the scenarios as well, test one, test two, so that it will not be confusing for us. One array and just copy and paste here. Okay, and just make it two. Perfect. So now what we can do? So we can take any one values and we can start our. Uh, so first we can take our clean shave example. So which is so easy to do. So since you you know that like it is already declared in here, <coughs> like uh, so array format. Okay. So what you can do, you can drag as an activity. So you can just uh, like create a variable over here and you can reuse here. So or you can uh, directly uh, drag and assign control key and you can create a variable. So, so both works here actually. So variable one. So what actually I'm going to declare. So this is the one. So how do you like uh, uh, like declare array actually? So in a curly basis, correct. So in a curly basis, it'll, this is the format uh, where you will be like uh, declaring your arrays, correct. Ganesh. So you can copy here itself. So that is also fine. Copy here itself. Okay, perfect. So here I had uh, declared all values in a like array format. So but still I was getting error. Why? So as we know, all uh, like uh, so if you are declaring a variable, so if you are creating a variable by default, the variable type will be string right so what actually we have done so array so what will be array so array is like array of string okay so we have to change the data type so you can see here cannot assign the uh, system dot string in the what is the close bracket, uh, bracket so it is an array okay into the system dot string so what i was saying array value cannot be stored in the string so that is what the error message okay so what we can do here we can go the variable it is a variable one, right? So what you can do, you can click over there and then array of. You can you can see here, right? Array of, so array of string. That's that's it. Perfect, right? So what we have done now? So we have converted array into. Sorry, we have uh, like uh, we have made a, a declaration of a array and then we have changed the data type as well. Okay. So what the next step we are going to do? So we are going to iterate each and everything, and you are going to print over that. Post variable one, so and then so make a right line to print this. So as I said before, this is a easy example. So where you will get your all data in a structured array format. Okay. 
so we are getting error why so this is an array the value which we are like iterating is an array so but we uh, once you are in right line we know that only we can print the string so what you can do you can directly go ahead and change that type of argument into string okay otherwise you can directly come here and make it as dot to string so anything will work here okay so let me save it and let me run it so what actually we have done so we have uh, created a uh, test variable one and have uh, added the value on that so which is an array value and change the data type since it is getting error to s like a system dot string which means array of string okay and then we have used a for loop to iterate each and every values and print in here so you can uh, find all the values has been printed over here right so this is a clear example which is so easy to perform okay so let's assume so drag and assign activity okay so we can take the test variable two okay so this is the example like many of you face okay okay perfect see this is a entire sing single string you can see here like double quote started here and in there which means it's a single string okay so but in array of string that is not uh, like the scenario so it has separated by each every characters like each every names will, uh, will be enclosed with two double quotes okay which means they are split into an array okay so but here you can find it's a single double quote which means the entire is a like a single string okay so what you have to do you have to split into an array okay and then we have to iterate in the for each in the same way what you will be doing so drag and assign activity okay so what you can do str all right okay so in this way you can do that so so what we can do we can make a split operation so you can see each and every character is as a separator which is comma right so using this comma we can make this string value as an array okay how so let me so first of all we have declared a variable so str array so let me change this uh, variable type as a array of string why i was saying array of string so i was just going to convert the string entire string into array right so that's why i just change the data type so what i was going to do here split okay split so what i want to i was just going to split by the comma okay so what are the data type so what are the data type which hold the values so which is okay so Two and then just make a comma. So what is the separator we are going to use? Double quotes, comma, right? So this is a separator. Okay. So what actually it will do? It will separate. So this will make it a separate of each and every characters which you have seen here. Okay, in the entire string. So this has been separated. So same thing. So S T R. Drag a right line. same thing which is item so same thing so we are getting error right so this time we can change here string so we have commented on the last one so as of now what we have done so this is a entire single string okay so we what are we going to we are just splitting into a multiple string we are just converting the string into an array of string and then we are start printing in a for each okay this let me run it will give you the same output and let me uh, go real quick and then we can have a quick uh, look on uh, how to change this particular value from uh, string to directly to uh, sorry string to directly list okay so instead of it is moving to string to array so we, so you may be needed in uh, list as well right so you can directly change this string value into list so how we can we have to do so let me show you so before that the output is same right so the method previous method so which is a clean shell like uh, it has a clear values in a uh, separator like array of string so but here we have took a single string and we have splitted and then we have made it as an array right so what you can do now here <coughs> so we have we can make a list okay so how so just comment comment out this str array okay drag as an activity so what are you going to do so we are directly converting this thing from the list okay str list okay simple str list so what are the data type so what are the data type we have seen in the collection our old uh, previous uh, like a playlist so we have to change this str string data type so from string to 
so list just type for list so scroll down bit so you can find your decide one in a generic so scroll down system dot generic will be your data type which is required for our automation scroll down a bit okay we got that yeah system dot collection dot generic just click this one and then what is the uh, like data which we are going to store here string right so if integer we are going to be the integer boolean so depend upon your data type values we are going to uh, pick the data type here okay so str string so selected perfect so this as we all know that this is a string right single string so what you are going to do we are going to do the same operation which you are done for array okay split off <coughs> so test sorry uh, test test variable 2 I guess right 2 comma double quotes using which one we are going to do this double quote like a uh, sorry comma right and then so just make dot to list So many of them like uh, will be like unaware this. Uh, so is this way to easily make uh, the string value into list? Yeah, we can make it. So what you have to do? So we have to split and you have to call the function which is dot dot like dot to list. So what dot to list will do? So we'll just convert this into a list. Okay, directly into a list. You can print the value. str list. Perfect. Right. We can save this and we can run this. What is what is started to run now? I guess it has printed the output now. So wiki Ganesh, yeah. So it is done perfectly. So I hope uh, like in previous example you have seen like what I have done. So we have took uh, first test to variable one, which is like uh, uh, directly we have declared the array values. Okay, we have just iterated, but here. We have took a single, we have took a string and then we have made it an array, okay, and then we have iterated each an array and we can, we have like, a, uh, we have converted the string from list and we have iterated in forage. So we have done two things so that it will be uh, clear like how to convert string into list and string into array and if you have like clean shave array then uh, how to iterate those things. So it will be clear about this concept I hope. Uh, thanks for watching, happy learning.